Hey everybody, yeah it's a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna do, I don't normally like to do uh, two two beers in a row from the same brewery, but I'm gonna do another Lagunitas today. Uh, there's just so many new uh, Lagunitas I've never had and those in the uh, and the new Holland beers, it, it's gonna be inevitable occasionally, so. Today's a pretty nice day for, uh, for October in the Midwest. It's uh, probably about 70 degrees. Uh, the wind's really coming up though. It wasn't, there wasn't much breeze earlier in the day, but uh, as the temperature's risen, so is the wind. So pretty windy day, so there may be some, uh, maybe some uh, wind noise in the camera. This isn't very good camera for uh, blocking out wind noise, but today I'm gonna do the Hop Stupid. Heard a lot of things about it, never had it. Uh, $4.99 a bottle. I might be going to buy some more if it's uh, if it's as good as it reputation uh, precedes it. But um, anyway, from the website, it says the beer with a guarantee built right into the name. This one is massively dry hopped for your aromatic pleasure. A double barrel, double barrel dose of malt, malt and hops, guaranteed to blast right through whatever lingers from the night before. It's 8% ABV, 102 IBUs. So it's, it's up there in the IBU, so let's get this uh, hop stupid in a glass and see what we have here. I've been looking forward to trying this, as I have with all these Lagunitas beers, so looking forward to it. A little bit of hiss, just a tiny bit of smoke, just blew away in the wind though. Man, it is windy today. As my second attempt, I was... Uh, down in another place all by myself and this couple of women decided to come down and just sit sit uh, right down at the uh, the table next to me and just pull out their lunch and start yammering away as if nobody else was there it was uh, pretty weird but uh, oh man there's a ton of carbonation streaming up on that I uh, got a good three three and a half four fingers of a really foamy uh, foamy white head uh, Got a, it's a fairly clear amber color, but man, there is a ton of carbonation, and the head just keeps keeps rising. It's clear above the clear above the lip of the glass now. Just a stellar, stellar looking, uh, stellar looking beer. Just a, like I said, just a light, light amber, more orange than anything. Foam blowing away. I've never had foam blow off a blow off the top of glass just like a white cap in the ocean I guess but uh, it came up high enough and it ends up enough that that's what it did so there's foam all over the table so let's see if I can get a nose on this through all this head okay yeah I'm getting some nice floral hops some some nice um, citrus tropical fruits some grapefruit um, orange mango a uh, little bit of pine, uh, some light uh, graininess and uh, car caramel notes in the background, but this is a, primarily a hop stupid, hop forward beer, that's for sure. Uh, really, I may be a bit of uh, like apricot or peach or something. Good grief, that head is still... I'm going to have another white cap here for long. That head is still... Uh, Right, continuing to rise above the lip of the glass. Just a, I've never seen a seen a seen a beer quite uh, quite like that as far as uh, as far as foaming up and just continuing to foam up. So let's get a taste on it. Maybe we can get some out of here and the, the head will go down a little bit. <coughs> yeah, somewhere in there, there's some liquid. Well, yeah, I'm getting a lot of grapefruit and pine, and followed by some uh, floral and tropical uh, fruit scents. So there's a kind of an earthy note in there, almost like pine nuts or something. But you can tell it's uh, definitely uh, fresh, fresh hops. That's for sure. Um, orange, grapefruit, mango, or pine. Uh, just a, like I said, sweet malt and 
and grain, caramel and grain there. Just a really nice, it's a fairly clean finish. Uh, got a lingo, little lingering bitterness on the tongue, but not very, very bad. But um, for all the hot notes in it, it's fairly well balanced. Uh, not really getting 102 IBUs. And I think that, I think because of the malt base there, but um, it's a medium bodied. Uh, Oh, heavy carb, heavy carbonation, that's for sure. Uh, not very sticky at all. Uh, you can't even really uh, tell, uh, notice the 8% ABV in there. Just a really nice, uh, nice tasting, mostly hop forward beer, but at the same time, still, uh, still fairly well balanced. So let me sit, and I will sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. Hadn't been that long, 15, 20 minutes or so. I added a little more, and uh, the head just jumped right back up there. But this got, this has got some serious um, head retention. But with that carbonation, you'd, you'd know that. Um, this is really a, this is a cleaner and uh, crisper than a lot of uh, really hoppy IPAs. Um, but it's really drinkable, uh, nicely balanced. Uh, with the, with, the, with the hops and the malts, it's definitely hop forward, but uh, the malts come in there and uh, it doesn't seem like 102 IBUs. Just a really nice, uh, really nice, uh, well balanced beer. There's a lot of flavor in it, uh, really complex, leaving some beautiful lacing all the way down the glass. But I expected that with that head that it generated. But uh, yeah, overall, this is one I think that. Uh, Comes pretty close to uh, living up to its uh, living up to its uh, reputation, and at uh, $4.99 a bottle, this might just become one of my. Uh, in fact, this probably will become one of my my go-to IPAs. That's for sure. Now that we can finally get them here, uh, really good deal for an 8% uh, bomber, uh, 102 IBUs, just really nice beer. So I'm going to give the Lagunitas Hot Stupid. It's not a 10, but it's darn close. I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, 9.5 out of 10, though. Just a really nice, uh, really nice, uh, for something something with such high IBUs, uh, just easily drinkable, uh, really clean, really, really refreshing, uh, really nice beer, so 9.5 out of 10. So till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.